The serpent has long been seen in various cultures as a sacred symbol of wisdom but that the Christian religion, as far as we know it now, deems this symbol to be a symbol of evil. For example the Ephites were a Gnostic group of the 2nd century AD, who believed in a complex cosmology that incorporated Greek mythology, astrology, and other cultural influences. According to their worldview, the supreme deity was androgynous and manifested as a serpent, representing the life force or generative power. According to their worldview, the snake was associated with the supreme androgynous deity and manifested itself as a symbol of wisdom, renewal and immortality. The serpent represented the way to spiritual liberation and gnosiological knowledge that allowed individuals to achieve greater awareness of their divine nature. The conception of the serpent as a sacred creature and source of wisdom was common to many Gnostic groups of the time and reflected the influence of various cultural traditions, including Egyptian, Mesopotamian, and Greek. According to the Ephites and other Gnostic groups, the way to overcome duality and attain Gnosis was through the acquisition of knowledge and the practice of spiritual disciplines. They believed that the divine essence was present in every individual and that the task of life was to discover this essence and unite with it. To do this, the Ephites and other Gnostics practiced a form of meditation or contemplation which consisted of focusing on one's inner self and seeking knowledge. The serpent as a divine symbol uniting the masculine and feminine principles was a vision common to many Gnostic groups of the time, including the Ephites, but also the Nasenes, the Scythians, the Cainites and the Babylonians, just to name a few. The Nasenes, for example, believed in a supreme androgynous deity called Babelo, who represented the emanating divine light that manifested itself in the form of a serpent. They regarded the serpent as the symbol of divine generative power and associated it with wisdom and knowledge. The Scythians believed in a supreme deity called Enya, who was an androgynous figure similar to Babelo, and the serpent was considered one of her symbols. According to the Scythians, the serpent represented divine knowledge and wisdom, and was seen as a means to attain spiritual salvation. The Cainites, on the other hand, believed that the serpent was a saving figure who brought divine knowledge to mankind. The Cainites were an ancient Gnostic sect which flourished in ancient Syria, and which held beliefs very different from those of the majority of Judeo-Christians of the time. According to their doctrine, the serpent described in the Bible was a positive figure who brought divine knowledge to mankind and would help mankind to break free from the bondage of the material world. In the Cainite view, the serpent brought divine knowledge to Eve in the Garden of Eden, who then passed it on to Adam. According to their doctrine, the serpent would have been an ally of humanity in the fight against the negative forces of the world, represented by Yahweh, the biblical God of the Old Testament who for the Cainites was seen as an evil god who prevented humanity access to divine knowledge. In summary, the doctrine of the Cainites regarding the serpent was radically opposed to the view of the majority of Judeo-Christians of the time, who saw the serpent as a negative figure associated with sin and temptation. Jesus too would have associated wisdom with the serpent, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves.